This was my first time replacing distributor seals in my Honda Accord. This is the video that showed me how to do it. I suggest you watch this as well. I'll put a link down below. Here's how my repair went. 95 Honda Accord with a four cylinder non VTEC engine. I have oil leaking underneath my distributor. There are a couple of seals in here that need to be replaced to get the distributor cap off. There are three eight millimeter bolts that have to come off and then three 12 millimeter bolts to get the distributor off of the engine. Two wiring harnesses right here on the firewall side of the distributor. Those need to be disconnected. And also right here, at that top bolt. I would suggest that you make an alignment mark between the distributor and where it mounts onto the engine. That way when you're putting the distributor back on after replacing those seals, all you have to do is line up those marks and you know you have it in the exact position that it was before you took it off. Now with that distributor out, you can clearly see that oil has been leaking out from the bottom and also that I have oil inside of my distributor cap. So both seals have failed and need to be replaced. Now one of the seals that I need to replace is on the underside of the distributor right there in the back, that black seal. This ring, what I've done with a little pick is scribe a line on that center piece straight across. So when I put it back together, I just line those two up. Now there's a lock ring that has to come off. So again, I'm going to use this pick and there's a little indention in the metal that allows you to put something down in there like this pick or possibly a screwdriver and get that ring pried off just like that. And obviously don't lose it because if you do, you're in trouble. There we go. There's that lock ring, which has a little break right there in the metal. Now down in that hole right there, there's a pin that we're going to need to push out. So using this same pick, it should come right out. Don't lose that also. Now this ring should lift straight off. And there are two spacers, two washers. You're going to need to put those right back on just the way they came off. I'm going to try to dig this O-ring out. And it is hard as a rock. It's not pliable at all. So I may have to break that to get it out. I'm going to need something thinner than this. Let me try a small screwdriver. There we go. Yeah, that just broke it. Yeah, that's not sealing anymore. Quite possibly the original O-ring for this distributor, which is 25 years old. So now with that old O-ring off, before we put the new one on, we've got to take everything apart on the other side because this has to all slide out. And if we put the new one on, it won't be able to do that. So now that second seal is down in here, which means all of this, the guts of the distributor, they have to come out. So three Phillips head screws to start with. And that one does not want to turn. All right, these things don't want to budge. So put a little penetrating oil on them. Let them sit for a while. Now with these three screws out, this assembly should pull out of here. One thing to do is to take this gasket out, get that out of the way. Now this little rubber piece, that's going to need to slide out. The thing is still holding it. Maybe it might be this. Let me take these two screws out. All right, that worked. Now I've got it out of the way enough so that we can see that second seal that needs to be replaced. It's right down here. To get that seal out, I'm going to flip it over onto this block of wood. Looking down through this hole, I can just see the underside of that seal. So I'm going to take a small screwdriver. Just going to bump it with my hand. Not too much force. There we go. All right, where'd it go? There it is right there. And now here are the new ones, of which I have two. So I need to match it in size and it looks like it's going to be that one. They feel like they are exactly the same size. Now before I put that new seal down in there, I'm going to spray a little brake clean. Get it nice and clean where that new gasket's going to set. Also to get rid of some of that oil that had leaked into the distributor. See that little spring, that little silver spring that goes all the way around in that little cutout? I want that side to be down. That's how the old gasket was installed. Now I'm going to put a little bit of engine oil around the outside to help that slide in easily. I put engine oil on that seal. I should have put grease. I hope that doesn't hurt it long term. Put it down in there as flat as I can get it. And now I'm trying to put equal pressure on each side. This is a 15 millimeter socket, which is very close to the same size as that new gasket. So I'm gonna place that right on top of the gasket. All right, one second I'm calling this thing a seal, then I'm calling it a gasket. I'm talking about the same thing. I just can't decide what to call it. Which is difficult because there are magnets in here that are pulling that socket to the side. That looks like it right there. That looks like it's fully seated. It's even all the way around. So I'm gonna go with that. 
I'm going to spin this back around, put that shaft through the gasket, and line up those three screw holes. And now this piece, got to get those screws back in as well. Now we can put the new seal on the bottom. It's going to slide right over, snap into that groove. Those two washers or spacers, they go on next. And now this ring, making sure to line up the marks. And now the pin should slide in. Push it a little bit further. Now the snap ring goes on to hold that pin in. Should snap right into that groove, just like that. And there's a break in the metal on the snap ring, and I have that way over here to the side. I don't want that break right on top of either spot where the pin is locked in. So I have solid metal here and here holding that pin in, and my marks are lined up. With the new gasket and O-ring installed, got this little rubber piece slid back down into that slot. Now I'm going to put this gasket back on, slide that down into the groove. ready to go back on the car. First thing to do for reinstallation is find the alignment mark on the distributor and line it up with the mark on the engine so you know you have it in the exact position it was before you took it off. When I first put the distributor on, if you notice I was turning the rotor, which was turning the shaft of the distributor, you're going to have to turn it a little bit to get that shaft in the right position until the metal meets up here. You'll feel it when it happens and you'll see these two pieces of metal meeting flush. Then you can put the bolts on. So now everything's back together. Time to start it up. All right, no problems at all. 25 year old engine, sounds good. I bought this kit, it's a Dorman kit, D-O-R-M-A-N, kit number 917136. I got it at AutoZone, it's about $14. It comes with three seals. There are two different size seals used in Honda distributors. This kit contains both sizes and you're supposed to select the one that fits tightly into distributor housing. That's what I did. I matched up the old one with one of the new seals that was exactly the same size and that's the one I installed. Just listen to the sound when I spin it. This is the new seal that I did not use. And here's the old seal that I replaced. This one's dried out and hard as a rock. So that's why it was leaking. The seals in this kit fit many four-cylinder Honda Accords, Preludes, and Civics from 1975 all the way through 2002. It also fits some Acuras, Acura CLs, I believe. I'll put a link to a webpage on the Dorman website that has a list of the vehicles that this kit fits. So check out that link down below. Now it is possible to put that distributor on in the wrong position. You can screw up your timing and your car may not start. So if you need to replace your seals, and you've never done it before, watch that video that I mentioned earlier. It's almost a 30 minute video. He goes into way more detail than I did. I'll put a link down below. Watch that video also just to make sure you're doing it right. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.